A Kid Explains History! Hello everybody, thanks for clicking on this video to hang out with me today. One of the things we've been studying in third grade are idioms. You know, special phrases that have a figurative meaning that is different from its literal meaning. Things like kick the bucket, hot potato, let the cat out of the bag. But did you know that many of the idioms in use today come from plays written by the same guy 400 years ago? Wild Goose Chase, Dead as a Doornail, <coughs> Mums the Word. These all come from the most famous playwright ever. Who is it? I hope you guessed Shakespeare because that's what we're doing! No party music? Are you kidding me? William Shakespeare lived in Elizabethan England between 1564 and 1616. But unlike a lot of playwrights from that time, his plays are still being performed today. People still study them and find new meanings, which shows just how complex and relatable they are. The Scottish play was about a nobleman who kills his king after three witches tell him it's his destiny to rule. Nothing goes well for him after that. The Scottish play isn't its real name, but I can't say the real one. There's an old legend, if you say it out loud, someone will get hurt. Macbeth. Okay. Oh good, I guess it was just a myth. In one of his most famous plays, Hamlet, Prince Hamlet is visited by the ghost of his father, telling him the new king is the one who poisoned him. Well, Hamlet decides whether or not to take revenge, he contemplates the meaning of existence. What's the line to be or not to be? And he talks to the skull of an old court jester he knew as a child. Which is why you always see pictures like this. Not all of Shakespeare's plays were depressing, though. He also made comedies like A Midsummer Night's Dream, Much Ado About Nothing, and Twelfth Night, as well as histories about Julius Caesar and Richard III. And in fact, a lot of things that we think we know about English kings come from his plays. He also wrote the greatest love story ever. I bet you guys have all heard of Romeo and Juliet. That was it. This yeah. guy, right behind me. Shakespeare was a member of a group called the King's Men, who had their own theater called the Globe. The original burnt down in 1613 and was rebuilt before closing in 1642. But then in 1997, it was rebuilt again, exactly the same, so you can see plays there. Unbelievable! When Shakespeare's plays were first put on, they were like the popular movies of the time. And they weren't just for rich people. Cheaper standing room only tickets were available for people called the Groundlings. They had a lot of fun while they watched and they were quite rowdy. Yay! Once movies were invented, people started making movies out of the place. There's been hundreds of them. For instance, all of these people have played Hamlet on screen. See if you recognize any of them, like Doctor Who or Mad Max. Only two I know. Obi-Wan and Gandalf played him on stage, and so did Sherlock Holmes. And, well, you get the picture. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe, give me likes. But in the comments, can you leave me some suggestions for some other videos? All these videos have been made up by us. We'd love to hear what you guys want to see and talk about. And remember, kids, be careful when you say Macbeth. I mean, the Scottish play. You can't be too careful. Bye, guys.